everybody, Chris Kitsuna here, and today we are back with Dream Daddy, the daddy dating simulator. Yes, I know, I just played this a couple days ago, but I'm super excited about the game, and we didn't really get into much, we did like a lot of intro shit, we did our dad's sauna, uh, we moved from the big place that we were with to this place, um, we met Joseph, the, the church-going Christian dad. Um, so, now we are going to continue where we left off. Uh, we were talking to our daughter, and he was saying, she was saying something about giving Joseph his plate back. So, we're going to go ahead and do just that. So, let me turn my timer on. Come on, turn the timer on. Thank you. Okay, so now... We had saved the deal, the deal, last time, so it saved exactly where we left off, so now we get to continue, uh, to the thing. So, maybe we should return to this plate back, I think we can get a ton of neighbor points if we bring ah. this back. Uh, we're going to be the best neighbors in this whole cul-de-sac. We're gonna kick all the other neighbors' butts. With kindness. Amanda and I step outside. Mm -hmm. Shoot, I'm actually not sure which house is his. Hmm. I hazard a guess it's the big one with all the well-groomed blonde children sitting in the yard. Good eye, kid. Hey. hey, and remember, we need to make a positive first impression here. Keep it light. We'll walk up to the kids and wave. And my hair is being unruly right now. It keeps wanting to fly into my face. I got a fan sitting here because it's really warm. We have the, I have the air conditioner turned off so there's not a lot of background noise. And there's a fan that's usually sitting here, a box fan. Have that turned off because it usually leaves a roar in the background of the video. So I just have this guy blowing on me but it's blowing in my, in my hair and the way that I had it, it kept blowing in my face. So I'm going to tuck that back so it doesn't actually get in my face again. Okay, hey guys, is your dad around? They all just stare at us blankly. These two look like the the kids, fr the twins from, um, they remind me of the twins from that movie. Was it The Shining? With the twins that are at the end of the hallway, they're all like, come play with us. Um, this guy just looks like he's a moody as AF. Um, they all just stare at us blankly. We just wanted to uh, return this nice plate. And thank you for the cookies. Jeez, these definitely are Joseph's kids. They all look exactly like him. Christy. No, no. Huh? They were really good. Still no response. I mean, I heard they were good. I didn't get to eat any. Chris. <laughs> I chuckled nervously. Hmm. Well, okay, we're just gonna set this place down on the ground real gentle, and then back away slowly, right, Dad? Right, that's what we're gonna do. The kids' eyes bore into us as we scurry away. I could feel their gaze on my back even as we approached the house. Huh. I need something to get my mind off those carbon copy kids. Uh, let's get some coffee. I need to rest my eyes. Let's check out the park. Um, with the tree thing that she's got on her chest, she might be like, like one of those tree people. <laughs> tree people. The people that are like really into like saving the planet and all that. So let's see about checking at the park. Yeah, yeah let's go pet some dogs. Or she's a dog person. That works too. <laughs> with the tree on her chest, on her shirt, it kind of looks like she was, um, like one of those nature com c brain fart uh, conservationists that's what I was trying to think of that conserve the nature and, and are only vegetarians and you know don't like to cut down trees and save the rainforest and all that you know okay Amanda and I begin to stroll through the neighborhood I can't believe how beautiful it is outside kids are playing in the street the flowers are in bloom and the faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air this place is nice hmm. too nice I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government operative. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> we walk for a while and eventually end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground and dogs of all shapes and size, sizes romp through the grass. It's pretty gr It's pretty crowded, but Amanda uh, spots a nice empty bench and we make our way towards it. When? Heads up! <laughs> oh, wow. That was loud in my ear. Ow. A frisbee suddenly hits me in the face. Woof! A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around its neck bound up to me, wagging its tail. Uh, did you throw- uh, <clears throat> Hello, did you throw this thing at my head or I like your necktie? <sighs> um, that I guess. Bark. He runs around in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. 
Um, part <clears throat> your wisdom on me, tiny dog. Woof woof. Um, do you have to put <laughs> a lot of numbers? I like that one. Fork. Got it. You definitely could have caught that. A guy in a Hawaiian shirt. I figured it was his dog. Jogs over to us and takes the frisbee from me. You know, frisbees are traditionally caught with your hands, not your feet. Uh, well, you're traditionally not supposed to aim for people's heads. It's a new technique. I'll catch it with my teeth next time. You caught me off guard this round. Not again. Not ever again. Ah. Ha. Okay, this candy just fell out of his butt. What? Ha. I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I'm Elijah, and this is my daughter, Amanda. I look over at Amanda only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tongue. Ah. <clears throat> Hi. Mm -hmm. Your dog's cool. Ah, uh, old Max sure loves the attention. <clears throat> it's great to see another father and daughter out here on such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to a grassy knoll where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket. She's reading a book bigger than her head. She puts it down and heads uh. over to us. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karamazov. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. How old is she? Uh. Ten. She's a precious little youngster. <gasps> Whoa! Uh. My natural dad instinct kid kicks in. I must brag about my child's accomplishment. Accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. Uh oh, what are we doing? Oh, good lord! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, that's so funny. It's like, okay, if you don't know, you're like really out of the loop. But this is like almost exactly like uh, like the old school Pokemon battle, even up to like the bar around the, the text. It's so funny. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. Daisy, um, I, Brian, that's my girl. Elijah, Amanda, get in there. <clears throat> Amanda, okay, okay. Elijah, HP. <clears throat> Brian's HP, 80. Uh, brag. Oh, I get to actually brag. Elijah, Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Brian, wow, congratulations. Brian loses 10 <laughs> Brian, Daisy actually won the statewide portrait. You lose 15, oh shit. Um... Item? What's the items? Oh, band-aid. Spelling me for a grade card. <clears throat> I don't know how to win this. Um, grade card? Child art? Spelling bee photo? Um, I guess we have no choice but to do, I guess, the grade card? Dad. Awesome grades! Brian loses 25 HP, wow. You really carry that around everywhere? Ouch. Maybe it's kind of weird, but you lose 5 hit points. You just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. She's the president too, of course. Dang, my high school doesn't have a chess club, a computer, or a computer lab. Oh, we only lost 10. Okay, we're getting there. Um, daughter. Can't switch to daughters and energy. Only do Okay, that's funny. Okay, um, brag. Last week, unprompted, a man help an old woman with her grocery bag. An extra powerful lose 20 points. Daisy sold enough to candy bars this year to get a top prize. A canoe! We're taking it out next weekend. How is that even possible? Will this stick? Get one of those sticky hand things. Extra powerful. You lose the cheeses. <coughs> um, uh, Amanda's all, all in her classes this semester. Ten? Just ten? Oh, really? I'm actually talking to Daisy's teacher about having her skip a grade. You meant to kind of bristle with that one. You lose 20 points. <gasps> this is... Okay, I need to bring out, um... I guess art. <coughs> there could be a many dinners. Cute! Okay, we need to brag one more ti time. Um, I guess just brag. This is actually really funny. <coughs> okay, he died. He did. He should be dead. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny as hell. I mean, I was just expecting, like, <clears throat> you know, <coughs> to start off as like with a montage, and then it kind of like skip time, and then. They're still going on it like 10 hours later or something, you know, like the Spongebob thing. Um, but having that be like an actual Pokemon battle, that was funny as hell. And I'm sorry, I'm like, doing all this talking, it's making me want to cough and I'm trying not to cough. So I apologize for that. I should have had a, a glass of water or something here to keep me from... <clears throat> 
coughing my head off. Okay, so I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. Do you live around here? Oh. Yeah, we live in that cul-de-sac next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence. That's where we live, too. Small world. Yeah, Daisy and I are in that little wretched house on the corner. I know that house is just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me with everything? What a lovely place. Hey. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. I'll have to stop by at some time at some point, whatever. I just butch butchered that. Yes, definitely. Bye. Ryan and Daisy walk further to the part with Max happily <laughs> trotting along in tow. <clears throat> All this talking. I'm not used to talking so much. <clears throat> Do you get the feeling that he was trying to one-up us? Mm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that ten kids only ten. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe he had a bit of a thing for horses. Shame that didn't turn out. I could have ma majored in comparative horse studies. It's not too late to minor in creative horse horse creative writing. Yeah. <clears throat> too close to the truth, Dad. Ugh. Let us never speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Horsington the Brave. An epic in seven, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Moon. <laughs> <clears throat> we laugh off the horse epic and walk around the park some more, enjoying the day. Let's just go to the coffee shop. <clears throat> I gotta get my hands on a nice hot hot cup of the old bean juice or I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way here, maybe we can check that out. Let's do it. Didn't he say something about uh, the Brian just said, oh, there's like a cul-de-sac, there's a right next to the coffee shop, right? Uh, we walked down the street to the Coffee Spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Man, this is such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Huh? What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make an awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, if some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me, and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Hmm. Dad, <clears throat> what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you just leave it there and, and feel your face, face flat off? Feel your face flat. Feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is, in fact, a bin somewhere out of just out of sight, and you know that you're the jerk. You're that jerk who just left their mug. That's weird. Tongue twisting dialogue. Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. <laughs> we walk inside. Oh. Oh, that's that's a really cool looking dude. Uh, the inside of the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records are lining the wall, and patrons lounge around on the well-worn and well-worn and countens couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Hey. <clears throat> Welcome to the coffee spoon, P spoon, poon, coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Uh -huh. <clears throat> oh, it is. Oh, it's a. Uh, it's kind of dumb. Oh. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time, and I suppose now it's still a good idea because I like the business, like, good idea like the business. Hmm. All this dialogue is not good for me right now. It's like, I'm just trying to talk, talk, th look at all this dialogue. I'm trying to read through all of this, so it's at somewhat interesting to listen to or whatever, and I'm like butchering it, like, really bad, and I'm like, <clears throat> and I'm coughing, and it's, and I'm hot, and it's, not a good deal over here, so sorry. <coughs> <coughs> I'm sorry that all this is happening at once, so bear with me. Uh, I'm gonna try <coughs> try to keep reading through this, and this music is annoying me. Sorry, it's just a little uh, <coughs> loud. Is there like a way to? Um, there's no way to. Um, I guess in the be in the beginning, <clears throat> there's a should save that just in case. Oh, come on! I'm actually um, going to do this for a moment. Just yeah, okay, whatever. I don't need all that um, music. Oh, well, I should have clicked on that then. Pfft. Um, uh, continue. <clears throat> Sorry, I mean, I should have of, uh, checked that before. The music, I mean, I don't see why they wouldn't have used music that was already uh, non-copyright. Because they know that a lot of people are going to be playing this game. So, like, why put music in it that's going to get, get us a mark or whatever on 
on YouTube or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> back to the dialogue. <clears throat> but people ask me that question all the time and I give them the same answer every time and now it's, I'm standing here rambling and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now. Man, I can't stop. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Dot, 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 dot. Mm. So, what will it be? Ah. I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. Uh, I'll have a uh, Godspeed you black coffee. Ice Tegan and Sarah. What? Chai Ant word? I don't understand, but. Uh, I guess. Ice Tegan and Sarah. I don't. I'll just go with black coffee. Oh, great. Uh, I guess he likes black coffee, so I got him some hearts. A classic. I don't get it. <clears throat> oh, it's a pun. Godspeed, you, Black Emperor. It's a really amazing and influential progressive rock band known for their sweeping soundscapes and. Hey! Uh, I'm doing the thing again. Hey! We're coming right up. Hmm. <clears throat> and for you, I have the Macchiato de Marco, please. Hey, yeah. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie small? <laughs> uh, medium? <laughs> Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? <clears throat> Matt sits to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Hey! Hey! Skull was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not the comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Dot dot dot. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. <clears throat> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and the guy seems not only cool, but also just as comfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. <clears throat> That's funny. Uh, I don't know. Come on, what do you say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I'm always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See, we're making progress. Dad meets, or Bat sets our drinks down on our table and I immediately burn the roof of my mouth. Good one. Hi, we're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad, Elijah. Hey. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah? I'm sure we'll m maybe we'll come in from time to time. <clears throat> Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Yeah, sounds great. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinions on something. Matt goes in the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. <clears throat> I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need your help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of Amanda Nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give it that nana bread a taste if you want us doing free creative labor. I think that would be a com commensurate with the, uh, I taught her well. We have, we have trained for this day. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right. Yes. That. <clears throat> Matt Service Eat the Peach. Peace. Amanda and I happily chow down. Right. This is amazing. Oh. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Hmm. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you bad, you dad, dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Uh, banana bread Kennedy is grateful. Banana bread, right? Said banana bread. I think I go with that mm. one. Oh, he doesn't like that one. <clears throat> like the jam rock band from the fronted by Jerry Garcia. Huh? That actually has a nice ring to it. He didn't really like that, but whatever. Really? Hey. Yeah, grateful banana bread. Strong decisions. That's art, baby. <coughs> dot, dot, dot. Hey, yeah. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said, said, said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should have just said me saying baby to the professional. Hey. <coughs> hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh. See, it just sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eyes. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Ours meet just for a moment. Dot, dot, dot. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Think, take care. Okay, now that we are full of caffeine, where to? And I guess we go for the nap now. We just had coffee. Have you ever known me to play by the rules? Your father is a rebel, sweetie. Now all aboard the f train to sleep at time junction. <laughs> <coughs> okay, come on. I know he's gonna do it. Okay, there we go. Okay, come on. Thank you. I got it. Okay, so 
We hear some fo oh, lunge hey. from, and I have a very familiar face driving up to us. Okay, I need to pause this <clears throat> and save it for the next time. Um, so that was Dream Daddy episode two. Again, sorry for all the coughing and heat nonsense and and. <clears throat> I mean, when I start coughing, I get like really, really warm, and this little dinky fan wasn't doing it for me because it wasn't even really blowing on my face by that point. So I felt like I was like getting hotter and hotter and hotter, and coughing and hot and and me fucking up the dialogue. It was not a fun time. I'm sorry for that. Um, <clears throat> so far, this is a really fun game. I th really enjoyed that Pokemon uh, nod to Pokemon battle with the one like, wanting up on the daughters thing. That was really inventive, really creative. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I really wasn't. I was thinking like, oh, they're just going to do dialogue and then it's going to pan away and then it's just going to be them doing more dialogue. And then it's just going to like go on from there. And then I'm like, oh no, it's a Pokemon battle. Like you're battling another guy with saying stuff about your daughter and doing that stuff. It was really funny. <sighs> Deep breath. Stop. <laughs> Stop ranting. Um, or not ranting, but uh, going on and on. Rambling. That's what I was trying to think of. Um, but anyway, yeah, that was Dream Daddy episode two. Uh, we, I don't remember this guy, so I don't know why he's saying we met him already. Um, unless we met him some other time or whatever. Um, but anyway, uh, I saved the game and we'll pick this up again in the next couple days. Um, <clears throat> usually I don't do like a game like this so close together because I'll usually do one episode and then maybe like a week or so later I'll do another episode. <clears throat> but this game here is really fun and I want to keep playing it. I don't really have anything else really going right now that's really super popular except for maybe Maple Story. So I'll probably like kind of fluctuate this between a couple other things and yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share with your friends, follow me on Twitter and Instagram, um, and go over here to click on a video that YouTube suggests that you check out. My face will be down here. You can click on that to go subscribe. If it's red, that means you're not subscribed. So go click on that. Um, and there's a bell thingy that you can get notified of when I do do videos. I just said do do. Keep it out. Of, keep the dirtiness out of your mind. And here. <laughs> will be a video that, um, not a video, a link, sorry, uh, a link to the merchandise store where you can go get a t-shirt or a tote bag of my mascot, <clears throat> Crystal the Fox, the Kitsune. So that's going to be it. Again, sorry for all the coughing and stuff and the the other stuff that happened. I just, it, it when it gets warm in here, just, it just, I don't have a light sit shining on me, which makes it even doubly warm, so thanks for watching anyway throughout all of this bullshit and I'll see you next time. Bye bye everybody.